Day 1 at the Backyard is the second video of a series for the Grounded Beginners Guide. The guide is intended for new players or for those that want to restart the game and do it in the most efficient way. To watch all videos on the Grounded Beginners Guide, consider subscribing to the channel and turn on the notification alert. You wake up small, I mean really really small, one and a half centimeter tall, in inches that would be 0.6 inches. So yeah, you are really small and you don't know why. Whew. Good thing I wasn't standing there when that landed. The story missions is how you learn about the game, explore the backyard and the only way to unlock all recipes of the game. On the first day in the backyard, you will complete the first mission, unlock 38 recipes, craft a pebblet axe, craft a pebblet hammer, craft a spiky sprig, craft a torch, build a workbench, build a storage chest, craft an acorn armor set, craft an acorn shovel, craft fiber band, and craft a canteen. There is a lot to accomplish, so let's start our adventure. Start by collecting everything you see around you. Be sure to collect three things, plant fiber, sprig and sap. These three materials will unlock essential recipes to help us complete the first mission of the game. On the ground, you will always find plant fiber and sprig. At most branches, you will find sap. You will see mushrooms. Collect them to keep you full. Keep collecting and walking north. Past the baseball, you will find your first field station. Be someone in charge of this science experiment. Analyze a sprig to unlock the spiky sprig recipe. <laughs> Analyze a plant fiber to unlock the crude road recipe. Analyze a sap to unlock the workbench recipe. Now craft six crude ropes and by doing that you will unlock the pebblet hammer, the pebblet axe and the canteen. Craft the hammer and the axe.
By collecting plant fiber, we have also unlocked the recipe for Fiber Pad, your best healing source during combat. While walking east, keep collecting resources and aim to craft three fiber bands, just to be safe. It will show at the hot pouch. Okay, that is definitely not normal. As you reach the mysterious machine, a new part of the mission will unlock. Let's do that. Press the button at the machine and you will notice that something is wrong with two of the three laser machines. Ah, what's the worst thing that could happen? Looks like something is happening. Well, that was anticlimactic. Looks like the other two lasers are blocked. We use the axe to cut that out of the way. Before fixing the next laser machine, it's time to craft your first weapon, the spiky sprig, and a torch. For the spiky sprig, by now, you should have all the materials but the crystal needles. The easiest way to spot crystal needles is to look up and search for a purple flower. There are a lot of them spread around the backyard. Use the axe to chop the needles. Now that you have your weapon, let's craft the torch and the only material you should be missing is the dry grass chunks. Dry grass is all over the back yeah. and different from the normal grass, when you chop it, you get some chunks that you can carry in your backpack. Having your torch ready, look up, find the laser machine and move towards it. As you get closer to the laser machine, you will see long mites chewing a black cable. Follow the cable killing all mites that are chewing it.
I'm a picky eater, but still. When in the cave, equip the torch and the pebblet hammer to kill the mites. Light. Burn back the shadows and turn away the inky depths of the night. After completing this part of the mission, keep exploring the cave. Break and collect these rocks. Quartzite is a very important material to repair things. Keep breaking and exploring to find your first scab scheme. There are dozens of scab schemes scattered around the backyard, something you should focus on collecting after completing all story missions. That's done, run back to the mysterious machine, push the button and enjoy the show. Walk to the north edge of the mysterious machine. I will take you to one of the best places to build your base, but just to build a workbench. Follow the same path I will take where spiders will find you and kill you. Okay, now save the game. You will see a pink juice box hiding behind the grass. Walk past the pink juice box until you see the roots of the oak tree. As you reach those roots, chop grass and collect the planks. You will need them for the workbench. Yeah. 
Turn right and walk east between the roots until you see a white can to your left side. Pass the can and you will see another pink juice box. Build your workbench close to it. This way you will start getting familiar with the area. It's getting late. If I don't make some shelter, I bet some horrible insects will come around and eat me or something. With the workbench, you will be able to craft your first armor set and a bunch of other stuff. Now, go towards the explosion site, collecting acorn shells and what comes with them. Save the game. Yes, save the game again. This is the Oak Lab entrance. In the first room, you will find a collectible that tells a bit of the game's story. You will find a bunch of them, this and they like will paradise. all be saved at your data tab. Transcription unit 87.9.5. Order number one. Robot, I need the next step is to open this door, and to do that, press the buttons in the sequence showing. And I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and g -g grilling. Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? I need you to monitor these readings. Burgle. A 
Isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Pull the lever. Reprioritizing grilling. I present to you Daisy T, the evil robot. To safely kill it, aggro him and walk back until he throws a hit. After he misses the attack, you attack. Keep doing that until he dies. If your HP goes below 60%, pop one of your fiber bands. Don't worry about perfect blocking. You will have time to learn that after completing the story missions. As the EZT is destroyed, walk along the way to find Burgle and help him up. We can fix this! Thanks for the helping hand! I am B -B 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 Burgle! Take your time talking to him as much as you feel like to learn a bit more about the game's story. Three things you shouldn't miss. Pick up the Grasslands Burgle ship and deliver it to Burgle. Hello there, Acting Science Manager B -B -B Burgle at your service. You know in B -B -B Britain they call fries chip. Is there anything else I can help you with? Check the Burgle Swap Shop, but don't buy if anything. If you have any extra raw science, I'd be happy. Bring me more of my lost research chips, and I'll be able to expand my menu of items. Three bold quests arrive each day. For each completed, raw science do I pay. Accept the three daily quests, but we won't focus on completing them. After this first mission, raw science will spawn in the backyard. So, always that you see these purple spheres, collect them. There is also a resource analyzer at the Oak Lab. Use the three charges to analyze the acorn shell. Quartzite. And slime mold stack. At this point, it should be night time, and the safest thing to do is to stick around your future base area and prepare for the second day. To be ready for your second day, we will build the storage chest to keep your backpack just with the essentials. Craft the acorn armor set. I recommend the acorn armor set because it's the armor set that gives the highest HP pool and to craft it there is no need to fight insects. Craft an acorn shovel, a tool to collect a variety of materials. Craft fiber bands until you have 10 units. This will keep you alive. Craft a canteen. You will feel thirsty tomorrow. Collect 
10 Aphid Honeydews. This is your best friend in the early game. It restores thirst, hunger and health. Collect 10 mushrooms to keep you full. If you finish all these tasks before 5 am, keep working on collecting and exploring the near surroundings. Don't leave the area before daylight.
You are ready for day two. Congratulations.